take us back to that verdict and the trial and ultimately the crux of the defense's argument as we watch those images of OJ putting on the black gloves, if the glove don't fit, acquit. Absolutely. I was here in Los Angeles, and this case uh, riveted everybody. You know, he was the hometown hero, right? He had won a Heisman for local USC. Uh, USC football is very big here, and then it had gone on to national fame. So you had celebrity. LA was also just coming out of the 1992 Rodney King riots. And so the racial divisions were still really inflamed. And there was all of that intersection in this city. And as you said, this was the first, um, you know, true crime, let's say, televised trial. And a big reason, to be quite frank, why we still have televised trials was because he was acquitted. Because legally, you always want to know, did the televisions hurt the defendant? It's the defendant that has a constitutional right to a fair trial. And the fact that he was acquitted actually enabled us to kind of continue having these kind of televised trials all these years.